Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Tech Nerd Spark. We are back, and because of the vacations, I am able to make videos even more quicker. With a time span of just a couple of weeks in between. But in today's video, I came across a tool which is called as N Light, from which we can actually create our custom versions of Windows. Now there are actually two versions, and I think this is from like a same creator. Is one program is N Light and other is N T Light. So in N Light, you could modify Windows 2000, Professional Server, Advanced Server, or Windows XP, or Windows Server 2003. So today we are going to take a look at N Light. We will maybe take a look at N T Light some some time later. So this is actually N T Light. Um, as you can see, get light. When you line to that, we have to click on this option. So this is the side of the NT light, which is compatible for all of the operating system, as you can see here. And for if you want for Windows XP, then we can go to Get N Light for Windows XP. As you can see, this is the website https nlightos.com. As you can see, this is N Light, and these are all the versions which we do have from beta to to like this latest version, we can, which we can get from. Here. You can see we can get it from here. Click on the download tab here, and then you can click on download. And as we saw, NT Light is for Windows 7, 8.1, and 10. This could also be for Windows 11. Maybe this site is not enough updated. I haven't checked it. I have checked and Light, which we are going to do today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, you have to download this and go to the initial setup process, which I'm not gonna do. So, after we are, after we have done launch the program, and you will land on the screen coming. Welcome to N Light. So, as you can see, the language is English, and this is freeware. You can get the instructions. Then click on next. And to create, like, you have to create an extracted version of the OS. So basically, how do you do it? So I am going to create a Windows XP one. So Windows XP ISO is this. What you can actually do is download 7-zip and click on Extract Files. And extracted files would be in the form of this. So basically, the content inside the ISO. I mean, if you just attach it here, and you can see that actually. So that is how it is. So you have to extract it and go to N Light and browse and just go to the and select it and as you can see it automatically uh, takes the information as you can see this is windows xp professional 64 bit edition language is english united states service pack 1 version 5.2.3790.1830 and the path is what we have here then we have the size which is just 552 mb comparing to mac os aventura which i am going to plan a video on is 15 gigs long can you believe it Let's click next these are the sessions i have just done off off camera to just check and click on next and this is our main menu where we can do stuff as you can see we can actually integrate service packs so we are not going to do that because i don't have any of that you can try it we have these you can add these you can add add-ons and update packs so from now let's remove some components and as i'm going to create like a windows xp education edition like uh, if you don't know didn't know that windows xp only came with home and professional and then uh, education was later introduced with windows 10 i guess windows 10 ed ed education but what if i wanted like if i'm like in 2002 and i wanted to make an education edition for windows xp then we can go use this program so right now let's click on components and click on next as you can see just cross out this window and as you can see this is the components which you can remove from the iso image and they will come without them so there are certain applications as you can see now as i already told you we are going to make like an education thing so let's see calculator or oh, never mind 
We have to remove games because in education there is no games needed. We'll just keep pinball for some minimal entertainment. No need of screen savers, no need of paint. You can just use a canvas, right? Then let's just remove these unnecessary things. Then we have to just minimize this. I'm not going to remove any drivers because I don't want anything. Like let's go to keyboards and Chinese, Dave Nagui. Then, yeah, this is the keyboard. We don't want to remove any of these. Let's just keep it in this. And for languages, when it comes to, let's remove all of these mostly. Let's keep Japanese because I know Japanese. No. Uh, traditional Chinese. Let's also keep some like simplified Chinese because I know both of those. So let's keep this. English is not included in here because you have to keep English, so English is not there. You can never remove English. Multimedia. And no, nothing here. Networking. So you can actually remove like Internet Explorer. But we will remove messengers like no need for or like this. Outlook Express. So let's just keep it and let's just remove all these. MSN Explorer, no needed, bro. I think we'll keep it that way because Internet Explorer is not gonna work anyways because we don't have the drivers. Then let's just minimize this and now let's see what we have in services. If you want, you can remove other things, but I'm not gonna do. I'm just gonna remove these three basic things. Let's go back. The changes are now saved. You can do this unattended. Next one, you can literally just, uh, I mean, add, if you are like an actually creating a system for like actual education, if you have key, like the thing, you can put it. You can also skip to UV or out of box experience if you don't want it. But I'm not going to do any of that because out of box experience is like the most innovative part of Windows XP setup. Now you have users. As you can, as you can see, we can actually do some restrictions. Because that takes you the name. Let's go to setup options, which we can do. So now this is the thing where you can customize the Windows setup. So black background, I don't want classic setup. This means the setup would be uh, like Windows 2000, like as you can see, Windows 2000. It may even speed up because like the, the certain GUI may not be needed to process. So that is kind of great. So let's click on yes yes and i don't want to uh, just do any of these like this is what i want to do let's click on back then we can do some tweaks which we are going to do so boot and shutdown so we can add control alt delete on log on let's enable that then log on page you can put classic or welcome screen let's put welcome screen because i don't want to take out that much of it next is oh next is desktop we can do stuff we can like the desktop icon size would be 16 32 or 47 i'll keep it 16 at small an internet explorer icon will hide or let's show because student needed for him. computer i can show we have my documents I will hide all of these hide show no oh, let's hide this hide it. show window so this is basically like the uh, version string which comes down so I'm going to do that then right back and test and next. so the desktop is done explorer so explorer is a whole lot of thing you can explore literally like yeah whatever you can explore explorer let's go to internet explorer you can also explore internet explorer which i'm not gonna do now is this me or is this actually funny my computer so you can actually do stuff here like remove manage from context menu remove search remove share documents then you can do certain stuff which i don't want to do add fans fonts folder 
network privacy app. The most I'm now interested is about the start menu because it's actually like a point menu. So show I favorites. So we don't want that actually. The small icons it will start panel. We remove yeah, okay, we remove username because we don't need it. And remove log of and yeah, you can just uh, my computer don't display this actually because we don't need that. We can just do it and explode. So let's just do don't display this item. Pictures don't display this item. Network and show as link to folder number of programs. So the number of programs it should be on the start menu. We can configure them. Let's put ten because why not? And let's move the taskbar. So disable balloon tips, these are so annoying. Then we can lock the taskbar. I want to lock the taskbar, yes. Then yeah. Two pop up so pop up are already gone. Then we have visual effects which we can do stuff. Um actually I'm not gonna do all of these. I just know which one and I'm gonna do those. So for example, cursor shadow, we are gonna disable that. As you can see, my my also has a shadow. My my one. You, you might not be able to see it, but my cursor has a shadow. It looks kind of cool. But you are children. You are taking education. You didn't need shadow, bro. Then we do have menu shadows, which I'm going to disable. As you can see, this is with all the operating system. You can see down here that's a shadow. So I'm going to be a little mean and disable these. Menu style we can actually choose to classic and flat or normal. Let's put it normal. Translucent, selection, rectangle, why not? Slide taskbar buttons. I don't know. Okay. So we have these and we are going to disable Windows Media Player. Like most of these are disabled, so yeah. So now back and the last thing is bootable ISO image. So we have to create it. So we have to label I label it Windows XP Education and click on make ISO. And you have to put it here. So let's give it a fancy name like um, WinXP EDU ENG 64 X64 as it's a 64 bit is there an underscore between you will next be deal ne okay never mind let's just do it win next be edu ing x64 as an iso image and save now this process not doesn't usually take that time but let's fast forward As you can see that is now done so let's just click on next and as you can see it is finished and if you go to the folder like windows xp windows xp education we have the iso image so guys as this video is growing bigger i'm going to create another separate small video to showcase the operating system and the tweaks we have done on the same channel as soon as i can so that's it for today. Hope you guys like the video. If you just click on like, share, and subscribe, you can create your own operating system like this and share it on Instagram with my uh, username seen here. You can follow me there and meet you all in the next video. For now, Tayonara.